Hey guys, what's up? Sec Tucker here. Uh, just a quick intro to the video that you're about to watch. So, uh, this is before I'm going, but I'm going to Manchester for a work thing. So, uh, it's a late night, pack my bag, make sure everything's there. So, I'm going to check out a couple of shops just to do some light game hunting while I'm there. You know, if you're home for work, you may as well make the most of it. So, um, I've got £60 worth of CEX vouchers in my wallet. There's something I wanted in the local CEX, but I decided I'll hold off until I go to Manchester. I'll have a look. And uh, yeah, I'll have a look there. And there is a cash generator on the way as well, which can sometimes have decent results. So we'll, we'll see, but eh, no guarantees of anything good. But um, yeah, take you guys along for the journey. And then we'll talk about pickups. Uh, if I even have any, if not, then I'm going to that local CEX and I'm getting that game I want. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you in the morning. Hey guys, it's uh, morning now. As you can see, I look very tired. It's because I have. So, got my uh, my nectar to wake me up and up to the shop before uh, going to the train station. Um, got like half an hour before the train. I live very close to it, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, um, got some work to do on the train and hopefully I'll get to play some Switch with some Persona 5 Royal. That's the, that's the goal anyways. <laughs> Either way, I'll see you in a bit. Here. I'm having a bit of a kerfuffle with this green green yeah does they open mm, fantastic Let's try when it's like flashing green nope hmm absolutely nothing I can do about that got it reprogrammed so let's uh try that again hopefully I'll get in this time he <laughs> fingers crossed No, oh, come on. Work. This is, this sucks. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> Finally made it to Manchester. Got a quite a nice uh, hotel room. It's not a, <laughs> it's all right. Um, the key initially did not work, as you may have saw in that video, but I realized I have to pull it out. So I was just being an idiot, but I got a different room now. <laughs> The um, receptionist was nice enough to come up with me and show me how to use a key, apparently. So, you know, I'm here now. That's the main thing. So, knocked out some of the work I had to do in the morning. So, you know what? I've got some time to do some game hunting now. So, um, what I'll do, I'm going to walk on out. Uh, I'll check out the cash generator. I'll check out the CEX. And then I'll have a quick look around, grab some lunch. Then I'll spend the rest of the afternoon working once I'm back. But let's go see if we can find some games. I've got vouchers burning a hole in my pocket. Small two inch Sonics, I've got all these ones already. No new four inch, just hoping for the Chaos and uh, Big the Cat, or maybe Charmy Bean that, but I don't think okay yet. Let's look over here at the Marvel Legends, again, just stuff I've already got. So, yeah, on to the next. <laughs> Some good pickings. That super R type might be coming home with me. Oh. Had a quick look here. Not much Wii stuff I'm overly interested in. They did have a copy of Devil's Third, but that's that's the case, so screw that. And the look at the DS stuff, lots of Pokemon Y and Moon. This here is tempting. It's got inserts, so I'm considering that as well. Got some amiibo. Okay, been to CEX now. Did get a pickup, so I'll show you that later. On to cash generator. <laughs> oh, charity shop, heck yeah. Okay, so here I'm at the cash generator that I alluded to. Having a look at some of the games, uh, I looked at the prices of most of them, nothing really there grabbing my attention. So just having a flick through, you know, Skyrim's a good one to look out for. 
It's a solid game. I have it on Switch anyways. It's on Game Pass, so I didn't really bite the bullet there. Now you'll see me pick up Dark Souls 3. 999 at this point. I am thinking about it. But, I, you know, I didn't pick this one up. Um, but yeah, overall, no PlayStation 1 stuff. So, you'll see Empire Exchange now. So, this was a vintage shop that had you know, no sign of having any games. And a cool Taz phone right there. But yeah, when I had a look through it, there were some games here and there. And, you know, I picked them up and checked out the prices. But it was a lot of cool vintage stuff that I wasn't expected to see. Just got a couple of pickups from there. Uh, I took a bit of a risk. I don't know what I've really bought. I just saw some games that they look pretty good. This is possibly resurfaceable, so I chanced it. <laughs> here you see CGX. So I had a look in here. Again, a, lot, a pretty decent selection. So they did end up having a 3 for 2 on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 games. And I did indeed have some pickups here. Again, I'll go over those at the end of the video. And now I am at the charity Oxfam. So again, just the usual junk, nothing I'm interested in. But they did have a £9 copy of this. At this point I am now home, the hunt in Manchester is over. So you'll see a copy of Little Big Planet 3, which I tried to trade in, which the X didn't take. And then next you've got the PlayStation 3 controller that's a 6 axis one. It cost me £10 and I traded that in as well. So again, now the rest of the video will be me at home, trading in some of the stuff I found, and I'll go for pickups at the end of the video. Stay tuned. They they done goofed. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Uh, doing another CEX trade today. Uh, I figured with uh, some of bits of the collection and whatnot, I am trying to round it down just a little bit. You know, because my shelf space is basically capacity. I don't really have room to expand at the minute, so it's one of those things. I'm just trying to condense it a little bit and get rid of some fluff titles. So I do have three games here that I'll go over in just a minute and tell you why I was selecting on trading them. So yep, yeah, give me one sec. So as you'll see here, they are the same game. You've got GTA 4, GTA Episodes from Liberty City, and Episodes, the combo pack, the complete edition. So I wanted to ultimately keep the um, complete edition, just because it's more condensed, you know, it saves a bit of shelf space. However, out of the two, it is the one that's worth a little bit more. So, you know, if I'm trading these two in, they get me like £5 trading credit, like £5.60 or something. Well, that, you know, the complete one will get me £12 uh, voucher, so I'm like... For the exact same game, I do kind of usually like having things separate boxes anyways, because, you know, they are kind of separate releases and to a degree. So, yeah, I'm going to trade in the big box edition, and with the Pokemon Yellow I bought yesterday, I'm trading the cartridge back, which would get me another £23 voucher. So, ultimately, I paid, like, you know, um, £12 for the box for Pokemon Yellow. So, I'm going to take the cartridge back, which I don't see any issue because they've sold it before, so, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, I'll be taking that back, so I should get a grand total of, like, £35 voucher because the discs are pretty spotless. And I've decided I'm keeping the map from Liberty City for this one because I never actually had the map. So this one's complete, so, yeah, that one's just got the Liberty City guide. Cool, and one last thing I'm going to try and trade in just for a £6 voucher. I did buy the Final Fantasy XIII Collector's Edition for, like, £2, but it should be a £6 voucher, so a nice, easy little flip there. Again, just gets me a little bit more money because I am aiming for a relatively expensive game at CEX and I've got a couple of controllers in for tests in a minute. So I'm hoping they'll all be good. If not, then, you know, that sucks. The PS3 controller that I've took in that you've seen in previous B-roll, um, that one looks perfectly fine, no issues with the PS2 controller. I, that one, again, looks fine, but, you know, CEX will find something wrong with it <laughs> if they don't fancy taking it. So, again, I'll let you know how that all goes in the end. Alright, everything traded in okay, got some good pickups, so we'll talk about that when I get home, which will be now for you guys. <laughs> hey guys, so today, now we have the pickups, so I've got them all in hand here. So for, we'll start off with the first one, which you may have saw, is the boxed Pokemon Yellow here. So again, overall in pretty decent shape, uh, there's a bit of a tear there, probably won't focus too well because um, I just use a phone <laughs> but um, it's the back of the box there you know that's um, essentially what you're looking at sides not too bad the inserts are all there and um, with the cartridge as you'll have seen earlier in the video I have traded that back in already for £23 of credit and I have my copy which is a nice condition copy it does have a new save battery as I got it as a Christmas gift uh, however many years ago so yeah um, I'll quickly open this up as you'll see I'll dump this back on the floor afterwards, but um, the box 
the inserts all there. I don't like, I was speaking to the person who's trading the game back in because they recognized the cartridge immediately. And I've uh, got one of those pullouts there and got the uh, manual here as well. So nice and complete, standard price. So I basically got paid, you know, a £12 voucher for it. I'll put that back down. Uh, two seconds. <laughs> yeah, but um, that's madness that they did that. They were just saying because of the condition of the label, they couldn't take it in as boxed. So that's a little suspect because the box itself is completely fine. So I'm, I'm not getting that. I'm not saying anything else. I got a good box copy of Pokemon Yellow now, and I got my, you know, my money back in the voucher because, yeah, with everything I traded in, I ended up with like eight to eight pounds as, you know, total vouchers today, and I did spend, you know, most of it. I've got eighteen pounds left. As there was something else I was gonna buy, I was gonna buy a Mega Drive copy of Spider Man, but I didn't have the manual, so it was fifteen pounds, and I see on eBay they go for around ten, and that was the manual. So I'm just like, if I really want to play it, like it's cheap enough, or I'll just buy it. So when I was in Manchester, yes, I did indeed buy the Super R-Type. I bought this for my brother a good while ago. He wanted it in CX years ago. I think it was like £6 back then even. But um, obviously, you can see it is indeed from CX. I used the voucher to buy this, so that reduced my £6 voucher to 50 at the time. And uh, I used some of that £50 voucher to then buy the Pokemon Yellow, which, um, yeah, that's how I got that. Again, pretty beat up. I do need to clean it up. Uh, I've not gotten around to it yet as it was earlier in this week, it's just been a very, very busy week in terms of work, so yeah, as you'll see in the CGX store I went to, I did get 3 for 2, these are the games I selected, Dark Souls 3, uh, again nice and complete, uh, this one was 9.99. Probably, probably won't be able to read that but you know it's there if <laughs> you feel like looking, again got the inserts at Prima League Starter Guide, discs nice enough, um, but with Dark Souls 3, I've not played the Dark Souls series or anything like that. I've dabbled in, the, in it here and there. But yeah, I got Dark Souls 3, so I have all physical copies of the trilogy. So I have Dark Souls 1 and 2 on the 360, and the Switch version for Dark Souls 1. And now I have Dark Souls 3, which I'm happy about, because I got Elden Ring as well when it came out, but I didn't get around to playing it, because uh, stuff came up at the time. So that's that. Again, £10 for that, which is reasonable, CXS15. So I was like, you know what, I'll bite the bill on that. Neo, or however you pronounce that, Neo, Neo, <laughs> just the way it's spelled. It's charged, it was £6. Admittedly, if I went back now, I probably wouldn't have picked this up. I just kind of a blind buy. The signal on my phone was on very low percent, so I wasn't risking it. But um, yeah, when I picked that one up, I was like, again, that Souls type games. I don't know if I want to play it, it's there. I know they did the bundle of PS5 with a second one of this, but so be it again. Overall, in good shape. Um, it was something to throw on the shelf. Why not? You know, that's the gist of it there. And then Little Big Planet 3, you'll have seen earlier, I did do a little bit of B-roll as I did try to trade it in. But I did have a scratch on the disc they did not like. Again, I didn't notice it at the time, I was kind of in a hasty rush. It's very close to the front, I don't know if you will see it at all. Yeah, the camera's not doing it justice, like it's a clean disc other than that one scratch near the centre. So I'll test it, if it works fine, I'll, list, I'll sell it independently because I've got it on the PS3. I'm not gonna play this. I just kinda got it in three for two to cancel the cost of it. So if I can sell it for like eight pounds or whatever, I'll, I'll be happy with that. So there was a random vintage store I went into. I did not record much footage. I recorded some after I bought these, not anticipating any games being there. They were not advertised. It was mostly DVDs. So I got three games here. Pretty good solid titles, right? Especially these two. So these games both listed at five pounds which is already a pretty good deal in itself. I did haggle with the guy because this game was also there, Tomb Raider Underworld. This one's spotless, not a mark on it, very clean, but it did not have a price sticker. So I was obviously, I, this is the first one I found. I went to the guy, like, yo, how much are you asking for this, do you think? He's like, it was like three pounds sound. I was like, eh, I don't know, you know, it's not something I just kind of picked up to see what they would, you know, if, they see, if I see things unmarked, I, I expect it to be pennies. <laughs> but when I picked up these two, I, I, he did, there were some games in the cases, you know, glass case in front of him, uh, right at the counter. So, he, again, these both have manuals as well. Let me just show you that. But, yeah, the guy took it and they were £5 each. I was like, would you, would you do 10 for all three? And he didn't even hesitate, he was just like, sure. The discs were pretty scratched up. Yeah, I don't even think the camera's showing the scratches. Like, I, they looked worse to me at the time. I think the light just like, shined in the right place. It's just some light surface scratching, to be honest. Like, 
Um, they're in pretty good shape. I think initially I didn't think they'd even be trade worthy, but I'm looking at them now. It's like if I were to take these to CEX or something, I think they would actually take them. I've, I've handed in worse before. <laughs> but um, yeah, these three games for £10 is an absolute steal. Champions of Norath with manual and that usually sells for £20 on its own. This can sell. The ZX asks for like 12 but on eBay, more realistically like 15 to 20 And this is just a few pound game, so I feel like I robbed them almost. But you know what? You don't get if you don't ask. And um, as I said, the condition was, mm, it's not the best, but yeah, so I just left it at that. So the final pickup of the day, so I did spend most of that 88 pounds voucher. So this GoGo Cosmo Cops, I forgot what it's called already. But I picked that up, again, it looked it looked neat, I think the game looked fun. So as you'll see, the inserts there, oh, well, what is that you may ask? <laughs> so this is the actual big bad boy pickup today. So there you have it, Pokemon Leaf Green for the Game Boy Advance. If you don't know, I'll try and aim that. I'll get my mug out of the shot so I can try and focus. Right, it's not going to focus, but uh, you can see it's got a Nintendo logo, it looks correct, it's got the four squares like under the board, yeah you can just see that. So that's the main telltale signs I was looking for. It's also got the indent of where the middle of the cartridge is. It's like a circle. You can just tell from age. Yeah, you can see it with the light shine there. It does have a number stamp on it as well, so they're the signs I was looking for. It looks legit. I've not tested it or anything yet. I did just get this earlier today. But this cost £60 in a voucher, so essentially cancelled out. So, you know, I, I did pretty well in terms of Pokemon pickups because Leaf Green was like one of the last games I need. I just need Pokemon Sapphire now, which they did have. So I'm sitting tight on that £18 voucher. If it's there next week, I think I'll just bite the bill and pay the £30. So I've got all the GBA games legit. Uh, you know, no counterfeits or anything like that. So yeah, I'm back to this game though. I looked up reviews in the shop. There's a nice clean copy, it feels clean. Uh, there's a bit of sticker residue, which I'll use some goo going on to remove, but having a look at it, nice and complete. The game itself, I like the visual style, and for £10 I was like, you know what, this is one of those really obscure ones that <laughs> it just does not look, it's not something you see every day, and it's one of those ones I probably won't see for a good while again, so pick that up, I'll try it out if it sucks on eBay of course, because <laughs> um, it costs, I would say £10 on eBay, I've seen them listed for about 15 to 20 which is all right, that's not bad at all, a nice healthy little profit if I do. And they're selling for that as well. There is one that's sold for like a pound, so I think it's one of those ones where if you were to list it as an auction, nobody's gonna want it, but if you got someone specifically looking for it, then that's when you'll you know be able to sell it for that price. But again, it's probably just gonna go on the shelf, you know, like the rest of it, but Pokemon Leaf Green was the star thing, because I mentioned, you know, there's something, I, may have, I can't remember, I might have alluded to it, but there was something I mentioned that I wanted at the start, and this had been sitting in CEX for a few weeks. I really wanted it. I'm like, I just fancy a playthrough of a shiny Honda Mewtwo on Fire Red, so I'm not restarting that save. I've soft reset it a lot, and it was something I did years ago, but I might pick it up someday from the board. But yeah, overall, I will go back and grab the star pickup was the boxed Pokemon Yellow for sure. It's that regular unboxed price. A CEX tried to charge like £100 for that, which. Again, this is now getting a box protector. This is probably my chosen version of playing Pokemon at any given time. Well, you know, the original trilogy anyways, if trilogy I don't know. And then Leaf Green again. So a good week for being a Pokemon fan. Just some you know oddities that I did not have in the collection yet, but yeah, um I'll show receipts in that. Uh, either if I'm not showing them already, they'll be at the end, but um I'll show a complete shot of the pickup, but that PS3 controller, I did show B-roll of it earlier, I'll just give it a, a shout out here. Ended up selling for a uh, 16 pound voucher after buying it. I, uh, you know, it's a uh, 6 axis, so, you know, nice little 6 pound profit there, you know, uh, that's alright. And I uh, did sell a dual shop too in addition to that, because I bought one with a, in my gaming career, you may have seen a black bag. I did get a PS2 controller alongside that. Uh, then, you know, I've had the whole sole purpose of just plugging it up. And I said I'll give you a fiver for it because my pal will just wanted rid of it all. So I was like, give me five pounds, I'm going to take it CEX. He's like, yeah, cool, on you go. <laughs> but um, yeah, so if you like what you saw today, again, probably won't be a uh, collection, you know. There'll, there'll be an R upload next week, but I won't be in this style as I'll film these when I go out and about. But I probably won't be going out for the next few weeks or so anyways. But yeah, yeah, just uh, hit that like button, subscribe, share. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheerio.